what's going on everyone it's the hispanic mechanic here today we are sorry tonight we are on the green forerunner and i'm trying to correct some of the cv angles as you see here it's got the lift on it but it doesn't have the drop kit and the drop kit really corrects that angle and brings it down so it doesn't add so much stress especially off-roading you do add a lot of stress on vehicles this is to alleviate you running through CV shafts like it's nothing. And before I continue, just wanna pretty much come in here and say, or give you a plan of action. All you're doing is you're taking this bolt, there's a nut on top, this bolt, there's another nut on top there. I believe there are 19. And it's very simple, like, you really only need one person if you really had to, but we are about to do that right now. Okay. Ooh, it's kind of tight. But sure we can manage actually pardon should I show where you're working at Actually, there we go. Let me see if So the nut, I don't know if you can see, is right here. Hand from the uh, oil pan. It's pretty much right there. Pretty bad. Okay. Let's try this again. Ugh. This is a cleaner car, and usually, if you're in the rust belt where we are, unfortunately. This would be a lot more difficult than what it really was. So what we're doing here is we're taking off the top nut, dropping these bolts, installing the spacer, reinstalling the bolt, and that is it. There we are. 
top nut off. Ugh. And I have the jack pretty much holding it up so when I do have these fully off, it's not just gonna drop down. So it's a little more supportive. There we go. She's off. Not. Now I'm going to get these bolts out there we are just like that now here's the stock bolt and then these, these are the bolts that come from SCAR SRQ fabrication or any pretty much any drop kit they're going to be a little bit longer spacer you want to take this off because you're going to be reusing that Take that spacer, drop the diff a little bit. As you see, it's coming down. The rest is on you. There you go. Take that washer. Washer. The collar facing downward. Reinstall. Once I find it, come on. There we go. <sighs> She's being tricky. Why, oh why? Well, we'll come back to that one. That. Spacer off. Washer. Bigger washer. Spacer. Oh wow. Oh yeah. Lots of grit and grime. Shove it in, shove it in. Oh. Killing my shoulders right now. Actually, I got a hammer for this.
there we go so pretty much i ran into a problem um the new bolts and hardware that they give you for the srq is different sizes than pretty much stock or oem this is a 19. this bolt is a 21 and the top i'm sure is a 21 as well but i don't have something big enough or small enough to fit in there so i'm using a 3 8 drive 7 8 on top and then a, a 21 half inch drive deep on the bottom and i'm just going to get this nice and snug torque specs will be later I'll probably link that in the description I don't want to over tighten oh, oh. and now the three eighths is a part of the car come on be free there we go there we go all right spinning so we'll do that later let's try this one now oh, this is gonna suck yep even tighter than the other side so we might be screwed oh, oh yeah there is no way Jose's I could probably get a 21 wrench if I have it. medium size 21 I have an extra long for some odd reason maybe if I can get it back in here right. block the wrench aha wait come on box end Let's use our brains. It's just so tight of clearance that you really can't do anything. Nope. Well, that's not going to work. So we're going to go 7 8 There we are. All right. And then I'm just going to hold that there. Where the hell? Give me my half inch. Oh, uh, other one. There we are. And we're gonna send her home. like that and the magic happens now yeah that's a little better finished product So with that being said and done, 
we have our finished product. Oh, this is the Total Chaos Fab Diff Trap Kit. 96 to 02 Runner, 96 to 04 Tacoma, and 2000-2006 Tundra. I got that off of uh, SRQ Fabrications, I believe. Uh, I think it was like $53 total, uh, including shipping and everything, but there's the kit, finished product, showed you how to pretty much do everything, it's actually straightforward, there's not a lot of jacking up, taking tires off, anything like that, which is actually pretty nice. Hope you enjoyed. The first photo is the before photo. As you can see, the right side of the CV shaft is higher on the bump stop. And in the second photo is the after. As you can see, the right side of the CV shaft is closer to the bump stop.